Welcome back to Boat McGrill. Uh, as you see, I've already removed the weights. I'm gonna lift the plastic and see if the, the lamination actually laminated again. Today, you will also see that when we keep on working, preparing for the, for the core material, hopefully we will have time to put in the core material. If you want to support me on this channel, please give me a subscription by pushing the subscription button down there and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of the content coming up. Okay, so let's remove this and see how it's done, if it's uh, laminated again. Uh, the, uh, the lamination is actually... It isn't really moving anymore. There still looks like there is a gap in between here. And yes, the wood is not exactly wood to wood, but there's actually some uh, epoxy in there. And if I push this, you can see it, it doesn't move at all. So if you remember, yep, you hear a little bit of the lamination over here. It's not actually the same tone, but it's way, it's not. If you go back to the last movie and, and listen, you can hear that over here, it's way more solid now. Besides, that area over here and this area over here that I will do something with later on, I'm pretty satisfied. So the next step in the process right now is to put in two layers of uh, fiberglass and epoxy on this surface. I have to go over with, with sanding paper and just hand sand some places. I'm going to clean it off with acetone really good. I'm going to lay uh, 122, I think it was, times 185, something in, in that area. Uh, I'm going to roll it out with a roller and then uh, go over with a uh, thin roller to get all the air out. But I have some cleaning to do and uh, let's start right now. So I'm cutting up some uh, fiberglass, they are supposed to be 180 long per piece. I got everything ready. Uh, I have uh, my epoxy, my mixing sticks and stuff. The only thing I need is something to blend in. I've already prepared the uh, fiberglass in, in sheets that I want them. Tack rag twice. And I'm now I'm gonna wipe off with some acetone again. And when that flashed off, I'm going to be ready with uh, the epoxy. Okay, I wiped off that surface now with acetone. Now I can start mixing the epoxy. I'm gonna do batches of about 550 grams. I did some calculations and I'm gonna mix 350 grams of the resin and then 192.7 uh, 
yeah, 193 uh, grams of hardener. Since I'm going to mix in three batches and I'm going to mix them in two containers, first mix in one and then mix in the second one, I can actually uh, pour up the hardener, 192.7 in each, and then I can pour them over and then pour them back and mix. So my camera died. Um, I really hope that all of this work that I've done so far didn't disappear. Uh, I've just laid down the second layer. Uh, I've used a little bit more resin than I thought I was going to do, but yeah. As you can see, I mean, laying down epoxy resin on fiberglass isn't always that easy. You, you kind of have to work it a bit. I kind of believe that it's, uh, that it's easier to roll it out like this than tipping it or using a brush. Last layer.
uh, this is now three layers of 300 grams uh, biaxial weave with epoxy. Uh, the next step after all this, I'm going to come in here and cut, when this is cured, I'm coming in cutting down the edges here, sanding, sanding down a little bit, and then come in and put down uh, the uh, divina cell. Divina cell is a foam core and that's going to be laminated in here with epoxy. So, uh, another day and actually gone a couple of days since I did lay the fiberglass on the inside of the roof. It, I came back about 24 hours later and it still wasn't really cured. So I ramped up the heat a bit and now it's uh, perfect just as I wanted to. As it is right now, we got some edges here that we need to take care of. It's hard to see, but you see it up here. I actually clamped the, uh, the roof to the supports that I built because uh, every time I did anything, they started to move. surface is sanded off and I wiped it off with tack rag twice now. It's going to be wiped off one last time and then uh, uh, wiped with acetone. I need to make sure that the foam panels, the, the divinicel panels are uh, in the right, correct shape and form and for to do that I will uh, put them in and cut them as I want them in there. These divina cell sheets are these are divina cell H60 and I think the best way is to actually put them like this. Yep.
the divinity cell is uh, cut in the pieces they need to be. They are not uh, set with epoxy yet. I will do that tomorrow, starting to get late. Time to go into my family and, and go to bed. See you tomorrow. We're back and it's the ne next day. Today the plan is to get these divinity cell foam cores glued down. The plan here is to remove this, wipe it off with a tack rag, acephone, and then uh, mix up some thickened epoxy. Use that as a compound, like a glue between the foam and the, uh, the, the fiberglass on the roof. So we start off removing this, clean off this surface one last time, wipe it with acetone, and then after that I will start mix the stuff. I'm using Nils Malmgren epoxy at the moment to get and today I'm also going to use the thickener for epoxy from the same company. I got I get this from my supplier uh, epoxy online. You can find a link down in the description or just type in www.epoxy.online uh, then you find everything you need for you mix this 100 to 255, so I'm going to use 200 grams of the resin and then together with that 110 grams of the hardener. I mix that up and then I put in the thickener. It looks started to look a bit, little bit like the glue that you're using, a little bit thicker, but just as a glue that you used when you put up wallpaper. I'm going to use uh, metal like when you use for drywalls and stuff.
I'm just gonna roll this a little bit with a roller, just to make sure that it's... tight and snug. I have my tent down, the heat is on, uh, the pressure on the uh, foam core is on, it's glued. We come back next week. Until then, make sure to hit the subscription button down there, the notification bell, and see you in a week. Bye.